this is Abhay. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today in this video we'll see how you can connect your Zerodha account to AI assistants like Claude, Cursor and any other assistant possible with MCP. So before going forward let me explain you what actually MCP is. So this particular MCP is called as Model Context Protocol and it is it has been introduced by Anthropic Claude, so which is the maker of Claude and they have a detailed article on it how it works. So to explain you in simple uh, keywords, Zapier has already published a blog on what MCP and how MCP works. And this is a simple diagram credits full to Zapier. I'll include the link in the description for this. Uh, you can see that these are the host of MCP client. That means your AI tools like Claude or any other AI tool cursor also supports this protocol. So then it will connect to an MCP protocol and then MCP protocol will connect to an MCP server. So MCP server can be your local data source as well as any web API or any remote data source. So your MCP server gets connected to either of a local server, either to a web server possible. And then it sends data to the uh, AI model or AI tool that you are using. So essentially what Zerodha has enabled as Zerodha has enabled to connect their kite that is their trading application with possible uh, MCP tools. So MCP tools like so uh, this is this is a short about uh, how MCP works. If you want to learn more, I'll put some links in the description regarding MCP. So now let's go through this Zerodha article and let's connect uh, live to Claude and uh, get details about uh, Zerodha Kite and how we can use MCP with uh, Zerodha Kite. So I think uh, they have some introductions here. I have gone through their video as well as some uh, documentation here. So to install this, you will need two application first. First application is the Claude desktop, so which is the app from which you chat with Claude and it is a desktop interface for chat. So you can go to Claude.ai slash download. I'll put the link in the description for this too. And then you can download this. So it's available for Mac OS as well as Windows. And the next thing that we'll need, you will need that is Node.js. So for Node.js, you can uh, go to Node.js.org slash en slash download. I'll put the link for this too in down, uh, description. Then uh, whatever the OS you need, you can choose from here, either from Mac OS, Windows, Linux or AIX and then download it from here. Once those both are downloaded and successfully installed, you can simply log into uh, Claude. So uh, you can open Claude from your uh, uh, search bar and this is how the Claude will open. So I'm currently on free plan. I have not paid anything to Claude. So to go there, you'll have to go to the settings of Claude. So for if you are on Mac, you can click on Claude and go to settings. But if you are on any other platform, then you can uh, follow the instructions as zero that I added there. You can click on settings. Once click on settings, you'll uh, need the developer section and you can you will need to uh, click on edit config for editing this then a window like this will appear where all of the cloud apps are stored uh, you can just simply open this window with uh, any application i am i have opened it with a text editor once i have opened this let me quickly go to zero the page and here they have added this particular code so i just have to copy this code from here and then i'll open the text editor app and here I'll put this code here and I'll click on command S to save this particular configuration. This configuration has been set up. I'll go to Claude again and I'll just close the application from my uh, recents. Once this is closed, I'll have to open the Claude again. Okay, I open Claude again. Now I think I'll be able to see Kite here. So you can see that this is Kite and they have a few options that we can get the data from. So now I'll set hi. Okay, now it has prompted me to log into Kite and we can give always allow or allow once. So we can just allow once and test it from here. Okay, they have given a li link to directly log into the Kite. We can, I'll authorize my Kite account from here. Okay. Once you are logged in, completed the login to browser, I have completed it. Let me know. Then I'll just create. And now it is asking me to uh, give the permission for the data. I'll click on allow once. Okay. It says you don't have any holdings in your guide demat account. So let me uh, try to ask for mutual full holdings because I don't have any holdings in my guide account. It is asking me for the data. I'll click on allow once. And boom, it has just uh, shared me my mutual fund portfolio. I'll blur this particular screen. It will not be um, uh, shared in the video because it's a personal data here. But yeah, I'm able to see my folio number, quantity, as well as average price, the current price and what's the current value. So this data is available here. Now let me ask some questions here. Okay, 
it has given me a portfolio summary of total invested amount, current portfolio value, as well as total absolute gain overall portfolio return, and what is the best performance for my portfolio. So you can see that it's a fund and it has given me 15% return and what is the most conservative funds in my portfolio too. This is actually good. Now I'll just ask, um, Okay, that's great. Uh, my portfolio is here. It has added me each fund to the details. It has created a good mutual fund portfolio dashboard. And this is the invested portfolio. This is the value. This is the total gains. And these are the total funds in my account. I'll just ask a question. Okay, so uh, it needs my login again to connect to Zerudha again because it has failed some this particular get codes and they are not able to get the code. I'll log into quite, uh, Kite again. Okay, it had some issues and cloud hit the maximum length for this conversation. I'll uh, have to create a new conversation to uh, start my holdings. Okay, so this was my query, uh, how my mutual funds portfolio compared to Nifty 15 in last six months. It asked me a few uh, details. It has already logged in. It al allowed me access to get MF holdings login as well as search instruments and get historical data. And then uh, it uh, calculated my portfolio performance summary and it has created a nice uh, UI interface here. So it has created a, a my portfolio and this is the particular Nifty 50 portfolio from where I started and where I uh, gone forward in my particular portfolio and from where my portfolio is and how my portfolio currently allocation is. It has created a nice analysis here too. That is uh, your portfolio is outperformed the Nifty 50 approximately by 2.03% in last six months. And I'd actually, uh, this data is very helpful me to understand about my portfolio. My portfolio has a nice portfolio diversification too, and it has added the details over here, like it spans across large cap, mid cap, small cap, and debt and gold investments. It has added 1.2 that I particularly like, that is risk management, and it has tell me the HDFC balance advantage for Nigeria as well as ICICI all seasons bond phone have provided stability during volatile period because I have invested in these two. And also I had zero the gold ETF uh, for a fund of, and it act, acted as a hedge. And it has created a market outlook that nifty shows resilience and moving from 24 to 21 to 24 8 by 3 over six months and your portfolio outperform and suggest good fund selection and timing so these are the analysis given by me and i think it's pretty good of connecting the zeruda to uh any ai tool like uh, claude and getting the insights from there so it's like chatting to the ai tool but gaining the insights from your broker so without logging into their exact dashboard so now let's see what are the actions available in this particular thing so you can get uh, the tools like cancel order, delete GTT order, get GTDs, get historical data, get holdings and whatnot. I think they have added most of the things here. So I think in currently beta, you can't place orders within Zeruda, but in future, we'll be able to uh, place orders from here. So suppose, for example, I am researching about a stock then I'll chat here only. What is the last rate price of the stock? If I'm out of the market, like out of the marketers, then I'll ask Claude to place an aftermarket order. Or if in the market, if this particular price has hidden by the stock, I'll ask a uh, kite to just type and uh, place an order for it. So I'd I'll, I'd I'll, I'll like to have this particular feature. I think it's currently in beta and it will be uh, soon launched out uh, to the public. So uh, this is pretty impressive and uh, good job to Zeruda uh, for doing this. And uh, this is my short review and uh, a short explanation how Zeruda Kite MCP works and uh, how to connect with um, Claude using the MCP. Uh, thank you for watching my video. That's it for this particular video. If you have any suggestions, you can um, suggest me in the comment box. And if you have any questions, you can just also ask me in the comment box. My social handles are in the description. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.